On a remote, mysterious island with a long history, a group of brave archaeologists set out on a journey that would lead them to a stunning secret that had been hidden for an incredible 17 million years. What strange animals roamed this mysterious island's lush landscapes long ago? How did this secret stay hidden for so long, despite the constant march of time? In this video, we will delve into this amazing story of finding and trying to figure out the secrets of a long ago time and an island that has kept them hidden for thousands of years. Researchers on Lesbos, a historic island near Turkey's coast, have discovered 17 million year old secrets. The island, known for its exotic species and subtropical plants, has been the site of numerous discoveries over the years. In 2013, 35 experts began researching Lesbos' geological history, starting in the town of Colonia and traveling east for 30 miles to Sigrid, a sleepy fishing settlement on the coast. During their excavations, they discovered an awe-inspiring reminder of the past. They discovered a small petrified object jutting out of the earth, which was connected to a giant tree some 63 feet long. The fossil record shows that Lesbos has hosted several real-life monsters over millions of years. Scientists recently unearthed mastodon bones on the island, elephant-like creatures that reached up to 10 feet tall. Sometimes their femurs are longer than 45 inches. The fossil record also shows that Lesbos has hosted several real-life monsters over millions of years. Scientists recently unearthed mastodon bones on the island, elephant-like creatures that reached up to 10 feet tall. Sometimes their femurs are longer than 45 inches. These would be enough to convince most casual observers that a monster had been found or the fossilized remains of a giant tortoise that lived on Lesbos thousands of years ago and was as big as an automobile. The petrified forest of Lesbos, formed 20 million years ago by a volcano, attracts experts studying ancient ecology. This 35,000-acre petrified forest attracts experts studying ancient ecology. The first fully fossilized tree was found in the dig, with branches and roots found on a leaf layer. The team found 150 petrified timbers within weeks after this discovery, and the tree was near a mound of them. The 20-million-year-old fossil from Lesbos Petrified Forest was originally home to palms, oaks, cinnamon, pines, and sequoias. Experts have yet to identify this 20-million-year-old fossil, but they should be able to once we locate plant fossil remnants. The remains of roots, trunks, branches, leaves, or fruits are often difficult to identify. The team will continue studying the relic to figure out its nature. The tree has been moved 100 feet, but the public may still see it in all its splendor under a shelter. Experts are studying petrified forests to understand the world's vulnerable ecosystems as climate change continues to devastate the planet. The Sustainable Earth Institute's Ian Stewart Lesbos recommends starting with petrified forests to comprehend our world's vulnerable ecosystems. The unique and useful petrified wood on Lesbos offers a world-class view of Vigo's 20-million-year-old surroundings, providing a rare glimpse of a Miocene forest in terms of its size and density. Researchers have already been able to determine that some 50 flora species that once existed on Lesbos are now extinct, which is important information to explain to visitors that climate change has serious consequences for the species living here and for modern ecosystems. Another study using lasers to study an ancient shell revealed a shocking fact about our planet and may provide fresh moon information. The current clam's extinct ancestor was closely analyzed to make these discoveries. The snail in this study resided on a shallow seafloor for over nine years, but back then it was home to clusters of mollusks until they disappeared in the same extinction event that is thought to have killed the land-based dinosaurs. New species arose in the late Cretaceous period, with the power balance moving the Tyrannosaurus rex rose to the top of the food chain in the north and the Spinosaurus to the south. Herbivores like Triceratops lived on the northern continents, and shifting continents allowed reptiles and amphibians to thrive. Fossil data reveal modern birds date back 60 million years, and the lineage of pelicans, sandpipers, cormorants, and others began in the Cretaceous period, when life flourished on land, sea, and air. 
The Cretaceous period was a time when modern sea creatures, such as sharks and rays, became commonplace and coral reefs flourished in warm waters. An ancient fossil, the shortest clam, has revealed an astonishing secret about the planet's rotation and provided scientists with enough knowledge to estimate the length of a single day on Earth 70 million years ago. Scientists had a general grasp on how the Earth's rotation has changed over the years, but because the change has been slow, it has been almost impossible to track year-on-year -year as the planet's day-night cycle increases in length by roughly 1.7 milliseconds every century. This phenomenon is driven by the way the Sun and our Moon interact with Earth on a cosmic scale. Effectively, it's all caused by gravity in the tides. The Moon's gravity regulates ocean tides, which surpass its orbit due to Earth's rotation. In 2010, NASA's James Williams described this trend's effects in a publication. In 2010, the senior research scientist indicated that you're putting energy into the Moon's orbit and removing it from Earth's spin. Due to Earth's rotation, the Moon's gravity regulates ocean tides, which surpass its orbit. To fully trace the actual length of a day between those two epochs, scientists need to go deep into scientific evidence. Winter's study of the fossil allowed scientists to uncover how the duration of a day has altered due to its layering. By analyzing these lasers 70 million years ago, experts found that the Earth revolved 372 times a year, seven more days than today, making a day 23 and a half hours. Dinosaurs lived on Earth for 30 minutes less than we do. The research has offered the most accurate late Cretaceous day length measurement and helps explain the Moon's rotation and Earth's influence. The lunar planet's recession rate is approximately 1.5 inches per year, and the Moon would have been within the Earth just 1.4 billion years ago if the recession rate never altered. However, the Earth-Moon distance must have evolved more complexly, and the study's authors hope to apply their new laser-focused method to even older fossils to capture similarly precise snapshots of day lengths further back in time. This is it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, then share your thoughts in the comments and also share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you can never miss our video.